Welcome back. Uh, this video is the next in a series of our parent education um, training uh, on the Suzuki philosophy. And in this video, we're talking about delayed reading. Children learn to read after their, ability, after their ability to talk has been well established. In the same way that children should develop basic technical competence on their instruments before being taught to read music. Again, with language development, a child does not learn how to read a book before they can speak, right? So the child listens as an infant or even in utero, 18 weeks up. They hear everyone speaking around them. Um, as, the child, as the infant grows, eventually the child begins to speak and it's one word. And then eventually they can speak a few words and then sentences and then you can't get them to stop. And then they go to school and they learn their alphabet, right? They learn their letters. And then the letters become words and the words become sentences and paragraphs and pages and essays and books, right? Um, and through that process of also learning their letters, they learn the sounds that the letters make and then they join them up together to form their words and sentences. And then after they understand, you know, their alphabet. Uh, a small child, a toddler, can tell you the alphabet, but can they write that alphabet? Probably not. So they learn how to say the letters, speak the words, and then we teach them how to write the words. Okay, so it's the same process as with music. Um, children listen. They understand um, concepts of music. We train their ears, and then when that's established, then we begin to teach them how to read music through flashcards and training books, um, note reading books, and then they learn how to um, sight read where they see music for the very first time and haven't practiced it ahead of time. They have to just read it aloud, just like um, you would sight read a book for the first time. You don't know what the book says, so you have the skills to be able to figure it out as you go along. And that's what we're doing with the delayed reading. Um, the reason why we delay the reading is because in the beginning, it's so much more important to First, make sure that we're uh, working with the child as far as their character development and their um, development as just becoming a good person. And then we work on the physical aspects of playing the violin. It, it is very difficult to teach a child how to hold their instrument correctly and expect them to read notes at the same time. It's just all very, just too much. So. We break it down and we start with the most essential first, which is the child and their behavior, and then the violin skills as far as physical and oral, and then we work on note reading. Okay, so the next video is about encouragement. I hope to see you there.